together to fight this holy battle. So when the men come, there will be no no do. So all our supporters, wherever I met, I usually describe them as you are not pro-Tibetan. I do not consider as a pro-Tibetan, but rather pro-justice. So, here also, you come here for just a cause. So I very much appreciate it. Also was the birth at the time Tibetan nation. I think a uh, few thousand years history. In a way, the period of very, very dark period. We born that period. So in our front, a lot of challenge. I myself, at the age uh, around 16, I lost my freedom. At the age 24, I lost my own country. Now, seven, near the 75. Uh, but, but since our struggle is just cause, and also our struggle, not just a political matter, but struggle for preservation of one of the ancient uh, the tradition, mainly uh, a tradition very much based on Buddhist thinking. <laughs> so Tibetan culture or Tibetan tradition, I usually describe culture of peace, culture of compassion, culture of non-violence. So that kind of culture, I believe, not only for Buddhist, but also, I think in some extent, I think even humanity as a whole, I think that kind of culture of peace, culture of compassion, is, I think, something uh, relevant. Therefore, we are carrying, in spite of many struggles, I mean, many of the difficulties, uh, we never give up our struggle. And then secondly, our struggle, not like one side victory, one side defeat, not that way. Because our fundamental belief is, I think the whole humanity witnessed there some problem bound to happen. Is it? Hmm? <laughs> So if we want to build world without any problem, then I think first we human beings must, must go. <laughs> so therefore, so long we human beings remain there, some kind of problems always happen. Some kind of disagreement always happen. So now, what, what method should be? Not using force, but through dialogue, through understanding. On the basis of realization, entire six billion human beings is part of we. The particularly today, sort of the new reality in the economy field, in environment issue, in many sort of factor brings we six billion human beings must live together. Problem. So I often, you see, request of the peer. Our friend, please go to Tibet and look on the spot. What's going on? What's happening there? If things, as Chinese government say, things are very good, the 90% Tibetan are very free, very happy as a result of free from slave or 
free from slave under Dalai Lama's uh, reactionary rule. <laughs> if, if that is true, then let us know the majority of Tibetan people really happy there. Then our information becomes wrong. So we must have gone to the Chinese government. If on the other hand, things are not as good as Chinese government say. And information we receive is true. Then must tell the Chinese people and Chinese intelligence, wherever you met Chinese, you tell the truth. And then Chinese government should accept the reality and should follow Problems auf eine realistische Art und Weise äh, annehmen. <lacht> Vielleicht ist es am Anfang etwas teuer für Sie, das Geld aufzubringen, diese Reise zu machen. Da gebe ich immer den Rat, leihen Sie sich etwas Geld. Vielleicht können Sie sich in Tibet einige Kunstwerke, Kunst äh, kaufen und hier wieder mit Gewinn verkaufen, um Ihre Reise <lacht> zu finanzieren. <lacht> so, äh, like this kind of public expression, expressing solidarity about our cause, is I think very useful to remind our, our Chinese brothers and sisters. And then through that way, I think some impact in those hardliners' mind. So therefore, I really appreciate you come in large number, come here. I very much appreciate a symbol of splitist or symbol of Kasota. Separist, separation. But 1954 September, I went to Peking. Uh, then I spent uh, at least five months in Peking. During that period, several meetings with Chairman Moore. And actually, I think what my secret is, uh, then Chairman Moore told me, oh, must keep. <laughs> Besides the uh, 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 national flags, you must keep your Monate in uh, Peking aufgehalten und dort einige Male den Vorsitzenden Mao uh, getroffen. Und so ein bisschen als Geheimnis sage ich Ihnen auch, ich habe ihm sehr vertraut, es war fast ein Verhältnis wie Vater und Sohn. Und eines, bei einem dieser Treffen fragte er mich, was ist mit Ihrer tibetischen Nationalflagge, haben Sie überhaupt so eine Flagge? Und mit einem gewissen Zögern gab ich zu und bejahte, dass wir eine Flagge haben. Und er bekräftigte, unterstützte mich darin, sagte, bewahren Sie, behalten Sie diese Flagge und hissen Sie sie neben den anderen äh, Flaggen. Union spirit. So we are looking forward. In spite of what past history, we can live together. Uh, uh, if Chinese government provide us meaningful uh, also autonomy and all Tibetan area, uh, then for economy development. It is our own interest to remain within the people of China. So that's our thinking. So mutual benefit. So therefore, but you see, the fact is fact. There sometimes the Chinese media say, since the seventh, seventh century, Tibet become part of China because marriage of Chinese princess married with the Tibetan emperor. <laughs> is it sufficient reason to claim Tibet become part of China? In that case, argument is, argument was a similar situation. Before Chinese princes marry with Züge uh, annehmen, sondern wir wollen uns, wir wollen in die Zukunft schauen und fragen, was ist für alle Seiten akzeptabel und annehmbar und uh, von größten Nutzen. So wie zum Beispiel, ich bewundere den Geist, der zur Einheit in Europa, zur Europäischen Union 
geführt hat, wo Menschen, wo Nationen gewisse Souveränitäten aufgeben, um eines gemeinsam größeren Vorteils willen. In diesem Sinne streben wir nach einer echten Autonomie für Tibet und zwar für das gesamte Gebiet, wo tibetische Menschen leben. Und, es geht, und so können wir ein Teil Chinas äh, bleiben. Weil wir haben davon auch Vorteile, besonders auf wirtschaftlichem Gebiet Teil Chinas zu bleiben. Aber gleichzeitig wollen wir Verantwortung selbst auf uns nehmen, unsere Kultur, unsere Religion zu äh, bewahren. Und die Debatten, die geführt werden über die Vergangenheit, ob Tibet ein Teil Chinas war oder nicht. Religion, culture and environment. Und auch wir wollen... <lacht> Umwelt zu schützen. Die Debatten gehen teilweise so, dass zum Beispiel China Anspruch auf Tibet erhebt mit der Begründung, dass im 7. Jahrhundert eine chinesische Prinzessin mit dem tibetischen König Song Tsengampo verheiratet war. Wenn dieses Argument stimmt, dann müsste man das allerdings auch noch weiter ausführen, denn dieser König war auch mit einer nepanesischen Prinzessin verheiratet, sollte deshalb Nepal jetzt einen Anspruch auf Tibet erheben. Das sind Debatten, die wir nicht führen wollen, die nichts bringen. Wir wollen in die Zukunft schauen und, und da geht es uns darum, wie gesagt, unsere eigene Kultur äh, zu bewahren und etwas zu erreichen, was für beide Seiten von äh, Nutzen ist. Auch. <laughs> May I say uh, two sentences, two more sentences? Okay. Uh, 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 that's my personal sort of level. Uh, I am just one of the six billion human beings. So on that level, uh, I always believe and feel as a result of watching uh, different people. We usually put all our hope on money, on material value. I think that's uh, wrong. Material value is very important, but material facility provides us physical comfort, not mental comfort. More money. Hmm? You know, we witness more money, more stress, more okay. anxiety, yeah, yeah, yeah. more fear. Yeah. So, money important, but at the same time, our inner strength, inner sort of value is extremely important. Potential despite different philosophy, different concepts. We can see many follow of different traditions, Christian, Islam, Jew, Judaism, and Hinduism, Jainism, many other sort of traditions. We can see marvelous people among the follower of this tradition. So that, that means, that proof, all have same potential, same message, message of love, compassion, forgiveness, these things. So therefore, and then among the humanity, six billion humanity, there are so many different mental dispositions. So one religion simply cannot sufficient, right, cannot or say, uh, can, cannot give Pasota, satisfaction to different people. Therefore, it is highly necessary to have different way of approach. So therefore, there is sufficient reason to respect, to admire all major distribution. And here, we must make distinction. Faith towards one's own religion, but respect to all religion. That's the basis of genuine harmony uh, on the basis of mutual respect, mutual understanding. So that's my 
second commitment. So my, my brothers, sisters here, you see, please think these two, two points. Uh, whenever you have some sort of opportunity, please promote these things. Then that shows you are a good friend of Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs>